This is a dream and a word from the Lord that I received on October 15th, 2016. And it's about who makes up the bride. It's a question I've had on my mind for quite a while, and he answered it in the following way. First, I had a dream that I was in a room with about 20 women. I turned to one of them who was my friend, and I said very excitedly, I tried on my wedding dress yesterday. Well, my wedding dress was long, and the train was made of silk and lace, and it was just gorgeous. And I looked towards the other women in the room, and they all had on wedding dresses, but none of them were as bright as mine, bright as bright as white as mine. There were two other colors of white, so to speak. One was a lesser intensity of brightness, and the other was off-white. I looked at the off-white in my dream. I looked at their wedding dresses, and I said, those are resurrection dresses. I was just about to say that we were all wearing wedding dresses, but then I saw these women in a smaller area of the room that had a step to go up to that area. There were about, I don't know, six, seven, eight women sitting in a row, and they were all wearing matching yellow dresses. There was a bit more to the dream, but that's the pertinent part. So I prayed for interpretation, and the Lord gave me this. The reason my dress is the brightest, white, is from Daniel 12, 3, that says, those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Well, I know that I'm part of the first fruits that will help bring in the harvest, and I believe that applies to most of you that are listening or, or reading uh, the transcript of the video. Now, the lesser white-dressed ladies are the lost and the lukewarm right now that will come to the Lord during the harvest. And I invite you to listen to the word that the Lord gave me in just a moment that points to everyone that is going to be raptured is part of the bride. I know this is controversial, and I just ask that you listen through this video. The ladies in the off-white dresses were clearly those who died in Christ and were, will rise first that we read about in 1 Thessalonians 4.16. They are also part of the bride. Only these three groups make up the bride, although there will be many people. The ladies off to the side in yellow dresses are the tribulation saints and martyrs who will die in Christ after the rapture. Yellow in a dream means shining or gleaming or of high value. And John Paul Jackson's interpretation of yellow is it's the mind, it has to do with the mind and the hope and the gift of God. And I believe that these women in these dresses are martyrs throughout the book of Revelation, especially those in chapter 20 that are beheaded. Now, this is the word from the Lord that I received early this morning around 4.30. This was after the dream. He says, To have and to hold from this day forward, do you know who my bride is? Let me tell you about her. She is sublime. She is magnificent. She is beautiful beyond words. She is the face of many colors, for she is all around the world. She speaks with the voice of many waters, for her tongue contains all languages. She is male and she is female, for she is in the world. You are my bride, those who are listening, and I come for you. Do you not know? Do you not see? The world contains my bride, but my bride does not contain the world. She is made up of the living and the dead, for the dead in Christ shall rise first. Those who have said yes to Christ and those who will say yes to Christ are mine. I am not coming back for the guests at this time. When have I said I am coming back for the bride and the guests? At no time did I say this. The guests are also made up of the dead and the living, but they never said yes to me, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. They are behind those in time, and they are before those in time. There are other words and messages that speak of this. Now you know, now you can rejoice. Many, many, many will turn to me during the three days of darkness when I visit. All those who say yes to me make up my bride. My church, who are my called out ones, are the bride. Research this and you will see. Do not doubt, but rather feel joy unspeakable for those who I've called and sealed before time began. I love you all, all of you. I will see you soon. Are you packed? Are you ready? Let the festivities begin. That's his message. And I have indeed found other words and messages to confirm this. Bonnie from New Bonnet's blog had this message on August 14th, 2013. Quote, you will not be surprised or overwhelmed by the coming events, for I have given you my spirit and my peace. You will know that the time has come for my wrath to be poured out on mankind 
but my own will be protected, as I have said to you. During this time, you will be given power to witness and will be my lights shining in a dark world. Many will be drawn to you as to me, and thus my last harvest will be brought in before the door closes. And then, yes, and then I come for all my bride. My bride consists of all those who have said yes to me, and those left behind will be those who have not said yes to me, those who have rejected my invitation to come to me. Let there be no confusion on this point, my daughter." End quote. So I believe Jesus made it very clear through Bonnie's message who makes up his bride. Now, Barb from 278 Pike Lake, she had this message on November 20th, 2012 about the guests. Quote, soon my bride, I will be bringing you home to my father's house. The time and waiting has been spent preparing many things for my bride. The saints of old will be the guests at our wedding supper. My angels will accompany me in a torchlit parade to bring my bride home to my father's house. This will be such a wedding celebration, end quote. Now, there may be more messages out there, but those were the two that I found that I trust. I would also encourage you to look up the word ecclesia and what it means to be a called out assembly rather than the word church. And you spell that E-K-K-L-E-S-I-A. Those of us who have and will say yes to Jesus before the rapture make up his bride. This is how I have come to understand it. This explains why my daughter has had dreams of being in a bridal dress, even marrying Jesus and even being pregnant. Yet she is not a watcher except for what she hears from me. Her heart, however, belongs to the Lord. I feel she must go through the harvest unchanged so that she may experience the shaking, cleansing, and refining that all have to go through at that time. So this is my interpretation and what I've come to understand, and I do, again, realize it's controversial. I could be wrong, but it seems to me that all who have accepted Jesus Christ in their heart since he was born and have or will have the Holy Spirit in them before the rapture are part of the bride. Those who are in him that have died, such as our ancestors, will rise before us, and they too are part of the bride. There are no verses in the Bible that tell us that Jesus is coming for his bride and guests at the same time. In Revelation 22, when we read, The Spirit and the Bride say, Come, that, that verse makes me think that the bride has the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will leave when the bride is raptured. So the saints of old will be the guests at the wedding, and the martyrs will be at the feast after the wedding. This is how I've come to understand who makes up the bride and the guests. You may have a different opinion, but one thing we know for sure, we are listening for that trumpet call to announce his coming.